Hey guys, it's Janixa and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting collection to look at. We're going to look at the Salon Perfect Perfect Flash Collection and these are drugstore flash reflective nail polishes. There are seven polishes total. I did purchase these at Walmart. It's the only place that you can find these. They are both in store and online. Like I said, seven polishes to look at. So let's go ahead and get right into the swatches. All right, first up we have Flashback, and this one is the black reflective polish in the collection, and let me tell you guys, these are very reflective. Like, when you think of a drugstore polish, for example, a drugstore hollow polish, they don't really give you that much hollow, they give you the bare minimum, because, you know, the polishes are cheap, so they kind of just go the cheaper route. But that's not the case with these reflective polishes. They are packed with um, that glitter, the reflective glitter. I mean, look at this here on, you know, the second coat, even just the first coat. You can see how much glitter there is in here. So these are packed with glitter. They are absolutely gorgeous. I needed two coats for each of these polishes. Some of them you might need three, just depends on your application. But these were actually very, very good. Next up, we have News Flash, and it's the reddish uh, reflective polish. Now, I will say that there is a lot of base in these polishes, so there's a lot going on in the base. Um, and sometimes when you dip your brush in and you bring it out and put it on your nail, you don't have much of the reflective glitter, but you do have a ton of base. So I kind of had to swirl my brush a little bit in there before putting the brush on the nail otherwise I was just going to end up with a mess of a bunch of base and not enough reflective glitters. Uh, the bases are clear that's why you know I'm saying that you have to kind of swirl your brush in there and make sure you grab enough of that glitter so that you don't just end up with a ton of the base on your nails. But um, yeah this one is so beautiful too it reminds me of a stop sign just so gorgeous. Next up we have Dream Gleam, and this is the green reflective in this collection. This is the only polish in the collection that doesn't have the word flash in it, so I don't know why why they didn't, uh, you know, put the word flash in here. Flash Dream or Dream Flash, I don't know, anything. <laughs> or Flash Flood. <laughs> anything, just make the whole collection have the word flash in it. Anyway, I loved this green one. I think the green one might be my favorite in the collection it's just so so beautiful i only needed two coats for these because first of all i don't like to add three coats over reflective that's a lot of glitter and would be difficult to remove all of these are going to be difficult to remove guys these are packed with glitter um but i feel like if you have longer nails you might need that third coat it just depends on your application Next up we have Shine and Dandy, and this is the purple reflective in the collection, and I was wrong, this one doesn't have the word flash in it either, but they could have just done it. I mean, a lot of them have the word flash, and I feel like they should have included the word flash in every single polish name. That just would have been fun. I don't know, I like little fun things like that. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, all of these have pretty much the exact same formula. One of them has a tinted base, where all of the other ones have... Uh, a clear base and I feel like that one we'll get to it it's coming up that one would probably be like the most surefire two coater for sure just because that tinted base makes it a little bit more opaque um, but yeah I feel like with these you might have to dab a little bit and cover some bald spots after the second coat but overall I didn't feel like I needed a third coat for any of these Next up we have Make It Flashy and it's a beautiful blue in this collection. This one is the one that has the opaque base, the blue tinted base. Um, so yeah, it definitely makes it a lot easier to get 
opacity in just two coats as opposed to the other ones where some of you might need three coats. Um, if the audio sounds a little bit different, you guys, for this swatch, I apologize. I realized that for all the other uh, swatches, I didn't have my microphone plugged in and I really did not want to redo them. So I'm sorry if the audio sounds a little bit different. Um, but anyway, we're just going to roll with it, right? <laughs> as you guys can see, after the first coat, there is a lot of opacity here. And on this second coat, it has perfect coverage. So this one is definitely gorgeous, but I feel like it's also the least reflective out of all of these. Um, I mean, throughout all of these swatches, they've been kind of shining back at us and this one doesn't. So maybe that tinted base has something to do with that. Next up we have Flashing Lights and it's the silver reflective in this collection. This one is so reflective. The silvers are just, they just are super, super reflective. I mean, look at this. This is just with, you know, light hitting it and it's... I mean, look at that. It's just gorgeous. It's shining right back at us. I love it. This one, I feel like you can definitely use it as a topper over any other polish. Like if you just want to wear a regular cream, but you want to add a little bit of something extra to it, you can definitely use this one as a topper. It's for sure um, sparse enough on that first coat that I feel like you could use it as a topper over any other polish. And last but not least, we have Flash Dance, and this one is super, super pretty. I love this color. Like I said, formula is the same across the board for all of these. I only needed two coats to reach full opacity, but for some of them, or for some of you, you might need a third coat. It all depends on your application and the length of your nails. I want to remind you that all of these will be difficult to remove. They are packed with reflective glitters, so be sure to wear a peel-off base coat or you're going to have to soak these off with some acetone. Um, but yeah, they are going to be very difficult to remove and I want to mention that these do not feel thick or sandy or gritty like some reflective polishes can feel. They're actually very smooth and easy to use, so I really do highly recommend these for the price tag of just $6 at Walmart. And here we have the entire Perfect Flash collection. There you have it guys, swatches of the Salon Perfect Perfect Flash Reflectives Collection. What did you think of these polishes? Overall, I thought that they were excellent, especially for just the $6 price tag. These are very, very good. They are gorgeous. They have great formulas. I feel like if you like reflective polishes, then you should definitely grab these. They are really, really good, you guys. Like I said, Salon Perfect is available exclusively at Walmart. Unfortunately, though, not every single Walmart carries them. I went to a few Walmarts near me and I couldn't find them. Uh, so you're probably going to look have to look around at different Walmarts or you can order them online. I know that uh, the other day there was one or two of them out of stock. I'm not sure if they are back in stock. I will link whatever I find in the description box below for you. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.